Hi there, this is Humble Home and Ministries. I am just doing a really quick video regarding Anita Fuentes. Um, I uh, was directed to a video that she did, I believe, last Monday. Um, I don't watch her broadcast anymore. Uh, I literally, it makes me sick to watch her. Um, they've become, I don't know if any of you have noticed this, but increasingly showboaty. Uh, to where, you know, there's a lot of arm raising and, you know, hallelujahs and Bible shaking and stuff like that. I mean, it's just um, kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's so phony that I can I cannot stand it. And the thing that bothers me the most about it is that, you know, they're, they're harboring this sin. And it is sin. And we're going to call it sin here because that's what it is. They send when they requested fifty thousand dollars a month for a basically free online ministry. They send when they blocked all their videos so people could not watch them until they started donating. They send when they took the money that they did receive in order to move into a one point five million dollar home which they rent. Okay, so this that's just like the tip of the iceberg of the sins that is harbored by the Sanita Fuentes and her husband Ignacio in their ministry. Open your eyes, people. Um, so, you know, to see them get, or her, you know, get on screen and raise her hands and do the whole, oh, I'm speaking in tongues to the Lord right now, and I'm so holy, look how holy I am, I've got my Bible, and, and I'm going to shake the Bible at you, and I'm going to lift my arms up because I'm worshiping God in front of all of you so you all can see how holy I am, it's just ridiculous, and I, and I, Quite frankly, I, I, it nauseates me, so I don't watch it. But I did go and take a look at the video on Monday. <clears throat> but before we talk about that, I did want to just quickly point you to Matthew 6, 5 here. that talks about prayer. And it says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. There is no humility uh, in Anita Fuentes. There is only pride and greed, and maybe some other things too, but I'm not even going to go there. Uh, but let's start with some of the things that she talked about in her video. And again, um, she said that she was going to talk about Galatians 3. Uh, I watched the video for an hour, and, and she was just going on this rampage where she's scolding everybody, and she talked about a few things. I took notes, and we're going to talk about it. Um... But I, I, after an hour, I, I'd had it. I just I wasn't going to hang around for her to finally crack open that Bible she likes to shake at people and, and talk about Galatians 3. She never did. But I'm, but I'm sure it was in regards to her ministry because she likes to make everything about her and everything about her ministry. Uh, so I'm sure, you know, at some point she was going to go somewhere with that. But I just, I you know, I had my fill after an hour. So let's just go ahead and start. She started off by, you know, quoting the Bengals. Do you remember the Bengals from the 1980s? They had a, um, you know, rock band. It was these girls that had this band. And they had this song called Just Another Manic Monday. And, uh, you know, this is what she said. It's Monday. Come on. You know, you, you went to work today. Come on. How many of you went to work today and heard it's just another manic Monday? You know, I wish it was Sunday. Cause that's my, that's my fun day. Ah, oh, it's just another manic Monday. So there you have it guys. Some words of wisdom from a woman who needs $50,000 of your money every month. So she can quote pop songs from the 1980s. If you think that that's worth $50,000 of your money <clears throat> every month, then I feel sorry for you. I'm not trying to be harsh, but that that's stupid. That's dumb. I mean, Anyway, moving on, she starts talking about her conference on the 20th of August. They're, this time they're offering a free lunch. My gut instinct tells me that they're doing this in order to actually get people to attend because from what I've heard, the attendance has been pretty uh, small. So now they're offering you a free meal to come and sit through one of her conferences and you know, I've, I've listened to a little bit of one of her conferences uh, in the past. And I, again, I don't want, I don't mean to be rude, but they spent over an hour on this PowerPoint talking about 
military recruits and the training that they go through and then attempting to liken that to becoming a soldier for Christ in the last days. And, and not only was that just completely ridiculous and scripturally inaccurate and dangerous, uh, I did a video about that if you want to check it out, but it was boring. I mean, I, I, it was, I was literally bored to tears. I, 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 I'm sorry, but this is just not like Holy Spirit filled, you know, uh, preaching and teaching. It's just not. And, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, but the fact is, is that, you know, if nothing else, we can definitely say that Anita Fuentes is not experienced enough to, to, you know, be doing these kinds of things. I, I just don't, I'm just not seeing it. Again, that's probably just my personal opinion. She goes on to talk about uh, the past few weeks that there's been a lot of spiritual warfare intensified against her ministry. She insinuated that, that people who have spoken out against her and have done expose videos on her have stolen salvations by slandering them. So I'm confused how you steal a salvation by slandering Anita Fuentes. Because the salvation belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It never belonged to Anita. And so if somebody's salvation is taken away from talking negative about Anita Fuentes, then they were never saved to begin with. Okay? So let's just get that clear. She did mention that somebody had used an image of uh, her and her husband when they had lost their son, and they had replaced the image of her son with money. And she talked about scams and stuff like that. And quite, in, in all honesty, I had seen the picture with the money. Uh, I actually do have a Facebook page called Anita Fuentes Expose. I do uh, moderate and, and uh, produce that page. Um, somebody did post that on, my, on that page. They posted that image, and I did remove it because that was entirely in poor taste. And again... It wasn't funny. Maybe, you know, they were trying to be funny or cute, but I found it to be offensive because while we can, you know, sit down and have an honest uh, conversation about Anita Fuentes and is her ministry legitimate and does she really need $50,000 a month, that's a totally different ball of wax to, like, mock her and her husband's loss of their child. And so that's absolutely not right, and I am speaking out against that, and I did remove that from the page. And and something like things like that are not welcome there. Uh, that's not okay. Um, she also has talked about some pornographic images with her head or her children's heads or her husband's heads pasted on it. I have seen nothing like that uh, personally, but if somebody's doing that again, um, that's not wrong. She then uh, talked about how people are trying to scam her. They're saying that, um, she, well, she was saying that people are saying that they work for her, that they're part of the Anita Fuentes' team, and she did say, we have no team. And again, you know, it's very telling. They need $50,000 a month, and they don't even have any employees. She did say, it's just me and my husband. So I guess her and her husband are each worth $25,000 of your money per month to run this uh, YouTube and live stream ministry. So that's something to think about. Again, I think it's very telling. All right, moving on. Um, again, she goes back into saying that uh, this Open Your Eyes People has saved over one million souls. I find that extremely hard to believe. And uh, again, she's talking about people's salvations being stolen when people expose her and her husband. And, you know, like I stated before, if your salvation is so easily lost when someone speaks negative against Anita Fuentes, then you were never saved to begin with. Um, and, and I personally would like also to say that salvation doesn't come from a YouTube video. Okay, that it's it's a work of Jesus Christ. He reaches down into your life. He changes your heart, uh, and you become a Christian because you love Jesus. And it doesn't happen because Anita Fuentes is on YouTube. Okay, and. Um, you know, what she has is not a church. Um, when somebody gets saved in a church, they are surrounded by pastors, deacons, many of whom have extensive education in theology. Okay, they have extensive background in, in counseling. They offer, uh, you know, the counseling there, biblical counseling to help you in your walk. There's home groups that you can attend so you can be in community with other people. And as far as I've 
you know, ever experienced. Uh, the pastor is always there available to speak with you or answer your questions. Uh, you don't get blocked. Uh, Anita is very big on blocking people. Um, and I really, you know, again, think you guys need to wake up when we talk about an online church because I think it's one thing to do YouTube videos and it's another thing to call it a church. And a YouTube video is not church. It just isn't. Okay. And so I don't think there's any comparison there. Um, and, you know, she goes on to basically uh, go into the whole thing where if you speak out against Anita Fuentes and her ministry, then you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit and you are going against God. And um, here I'll show you the clip. Just give me one second. The devil is seeking to steal, kill, and destroy you. And you know what, my friends? You know, there are people that tune in for the sake, and again, these are witches and warlocks. They tune in for the sake of just seeing, you know, what kind of material they can get. They think that the broadcast we do is for their gain. It's not for their gain. This is a work of the Lord. This is a work of the Almighty God. You are messing with the holy things of God. And these people have sought to blaspheme the Lord. So again, here we see uh, your typical false teacher, false prophet, wolf in sheep clo sheep's clothing, essentially stating that uh, you are messing with God and you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit and you're committing the unforgivable sin by exposing them for the things that they've done that are sinful, for questioning them for suggesting that perhaps maybe the way that they're running their ministry isn't very legitimate. So God forbid that you do that because according to Anita Fuentes, you are messing with God himself. And, uh, you know, I did a video on that. Be sure to check it out if you're interested in uh, the unforgivable sin and how false prophets use that in order to scare you away from questioning them and their false theologies, their false practices, their fraudulent ministries. Please be sure to check that out. But again, going back, you know, again, she circles back around and talks about, you know, how people are, be salvations are being lost because of people like myself, I guess, that are daring to question her. Uh, she calls people witches and warlocks. I don't know if she's specifically directing that at me, but I just have to tell you, I have never had any uh, involvement in the occult or any type of witchcraft, or anything like that in my entire life, ever. I'm a very straightforward person. I became a Christian in 2002. I'm certainly not perfect, but I know to whom I belong. And I really don't think that my salvation is ever going to be taken away because I questioned Anita Fuentes. Again, here in, we're in Matthew, um, I'm sorry, John 10, uh, in John, it says, John 10, 27, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. So if you are truly saved, then a YouTube video done by somebody that disagrees with Anita Fuentes ministry is not going to snatch them out of the hands of God Almighty. And for her to suggest that is just absolutely ridiculous, and I'm just fed up with this woman. I'm sorry. Um, I really hope you guys, like, are waking up to this stuff. I, I really think the, the part of the matter is that she's very upset that her numbers are dropping and that giving is slowing down, and she's blaming it on her, other people, but... She herself got on one of her videos and said, do not touch God's anointed because she thinks she's anointed by God. And, but if she was so anointed, then why are her numbers dropping? Why are her funds depleting? It is because, you know, maybe, in fact, Anita, it's just quite the opposite. Maybe because you have sin that you have not uh, confessed and sin that you have not repented of, that this is happening to your ministry. And for you to sit there and try to blame it on other people is absolutely ridiculous. And it tells me that you have a heart problem. You don't have the ability to look into the mirror and evaluate your own sin and judge your own self. And you're blaming all of this on other people when really you brought all of it on yourself when you asked for $50,000 a month, you locked your videos, you went on with your husband and and slandered people. You're talking about being slandered like you're a big victim. You went on and you slandered people on there. 
Okay, so you can't be a hypocrite. You can't go around slandering people in videos and then, you know, de decrying the fact that you've been slandered. I mean, it doesn't work like that. And also, just for the record, slander is when you say something that's not true. And as far as I'm concerned, everything that's been said about you, about your $1.5 million home and the way that you're mismanaging your funds and the way that you're using the money that you receive from God himself for your own luxurious lifestyle and not for a legitimate ministry, tells me that that's everything I need to know about you. So first, I would suggest looking at the definition of slander before you go around telling, saying that people are slandering you, but in fact, what they're doing is go around and telling the people the truth about you. And again, we're not doing this because we personally hate you, because we're jealous of you, because we, you know, wish that we were you, or wish we had your $1.5 million home, or, you know, whatever you want to tell yourself the reasons that we're doing this, the reason that I'm doing it, Personally, is because I believe that you are a fraud. And it pains me to say that because I didn't want to believe it at first. But, you know, from everything that I've seen, uh, I think that's what you are. And that's why I'm doing these videos. Uh, I just want to also close with the fact that she uh, suggested that people are trying to look up information about her. She said these people are terrorists. She says that they're trying to find out my mother's name and my father's name. Well, let me show you something. Anita Fuentes, born as Anita Rivera, the daughter of U Eugenio Martyr and Francis Rivera of Puerto Rico. So, I'm sorry, I mispronounced the names. But the information is right on your own website. So for you to go on a video and say, people are trying to find out my parents' names, they're investigating me. When you can very clearly go check for yourself on her very own website that she, in fact, has this information readily available to the public. So it's just absurd. She's playing the victim. She's just upset because her viewership has decreased and that she's not getting enough money to pay for her $5,700 a month rent. Open your wallets, people. This is a blog that is written by an atheist. And when, Anita, when you do stuff like you're doing, when you say the things that you're saying, it makes Christians look foolish. Okay, because people like the friendly atheists probably lump Christians all into one group. And he found out the things that you've said, the things that you've been doing. He's posted your video on his blog for all the other atheists to look at. And it makes Christians look foolish. And this is what you did. This isn't anybody else's fault except your own. What kind of testimony are you giving to non-believers and what kind of testimony are you giving to other Christians when you behave in this manner? I'm going to say something really quickly. Um, I really don't think that men, women should be uh, pastors. And she calls herself the pastor, and it's very obvious that she runs the show here. And really what needs to happen is her husband needs to get control over his wife because she's cause she started this whole thing when she went on with her stupid letter and shoved her foot right down her throat and started all this controversy and none of this would have probably ever happened if she hadn't done that video and you know Ignacio your role as the husband is to be the head of the household and you need to get uh, a hold on your wife you know you guys need to be a little bit smarter about the things that come out of your mouth you're not a victim you're doing this to yourself you know, by your own words, you're being convicted. By the Bible, by the gospel, you're being convicted. It's not everybody else. It's the sin that happens within your, within your own hearts that you need to deal with. It's not me or our Ryan or Queenie Cameron or whoever else made a video about you. It's not their fault. It's yours. You need to take some responsibility. Part of being the leader that you say that you are is taking responsibility for the things you've done wrong, and I have not yet seen you do that. So I really am just fed up with the whole victim mentality thing with you two. And I'm just going to close out here with the, the uh, Ananias and Sapphira account here. And these are people who sold some property and said they were going to give it to the community. They were going to give it to the apostle, uh, apostles to forward the gospel. And they were both struck dead. And I see a lot of uh, parallels here between what Anita and Ignacio were doing with uh, the Christians. They're saying this money is for their ministry. They're saying it's that it's to, to further the gospel and to save souls. But you 
when you have such a huge amount of money and so much good could be done to further the gospel and instead what you do with it is you move into this extravagant home that you don't need okay then you are an Ananias and a Sapphira I'm just going to put this up here you guys can pause it and read it or you can look at the link that I'm going to provide in the information box below this video is running a little long so I want to wrap it up here really quickly and just uh, you know let you guys do this own your own investigation here um, I just want to close in saying that you know the gospel is a free gift from Jesus uh, when you locked up your videos that uh, you know until people started paying you that was wrong Jesus would never have done that what would Jesus do he certainly wouldn't have done that okay she seems to be under the impression that nobody can be saved in these last days without me but they can because of this thing here called the Bible that God gave us it's got his word in it and if you read it then your heart is convicted and you're changed from the inside out and your life is changed and you're restored to the Father God because of the work that Jesus Christ Christ did on the cross so they don't need you Anita you print articles off and read them on YouTube and that I don't have a problem with that in and of itself but it's certainly not a six hundred thousand dollar a year ministry and what you're running here is not a church it's just simply a bunch of videos about end time stuff which I agree is happening but you know I just I, I'm just done with this stuff it's absolutely ridiculous and this is the you know a video that I didn't want to have to do but I really felt convicted to do it and so here it is all laid out for you I know that there are going to be some people that are going to be very happy about it I don't care I really don't care you don't have to like it I'm doing what I think is right and um, nobody's destroying your ministry uh, God giveth and God taketh away and I think God is taketh away, taketh away in from you right now Anita because uh, you're defrauding people and that's a big deal and that's why people are so upset all right God bless you guys uh, thanks for tuning in open your wallets people